Today, Google drives e-commerce. The global giant has experimented with its shopping feature for many years, but it is only small to medium-sized e-commerce companies that are using the platform. The projections we see currently are that up to between 2 and 6% of, of current retail sales are through e-commerce. While the African continent has enormous opportunities for online retailers, there are still quite a few obstacles that hinder e-commerce growth. If we look at uh, what the typical barriers to e-commerce adoption are, uh, usually one is um, forms of payment. Um, that people won't have credit cards and debit cards. The other problem usually is delivery. You know, if I order, I want to have my items delivered within X period to my home. The government is helping out with that with a national addressing system where every single sort of like gate and home will have an address to help with delivery. The national addressing system will offer an opportunity for online retailers to establish and grow their business through door-to-door -door deliveries. Motorbikes um, have really helped with that bit as well and mobile phones so you know um, your driver can call you and ask you where you are and you can organize how to meet. Google doesn't market itself in the traditional sense. Instead, it observes and it listens. We see this behavior we call research online purchase offline robo, where we have lots and lots of people who come and do their research online and then, you know, eventually pick up the phone and call or walk into the store um, and purchase. Another behavior we see is that um, people research on their phones but eventually purchase on their computers, their laptops, their desktops, right? So again, are you connecting the dots and checking what that consumer journey is across different devices? Customers prefer to seek out online reviews and more in-depth product information to back up their purchases. This is especially true of goods with higher price points, but traditional stores are not yet dead. I wouldn't be too quick to totally write off brick and mortar stores. We are at about a 2 to 6% e-commerce penetration if you look at the total um, retail sales in Kenya. E-commerce is today an essential platform for survival. The bottom line is retailers who want to survive must commit to online success. And that starts by developing a robust digital sales and marketing infrastructure.